So the new mate, uh, mutant variant has been called a variant of interest by the World Health Organization. Now, what we do know about this variant is that it's more transmissible, but thankfully not more deadly. What that means is that it can infect more people quickly, but it may not necessarily trigger more deaths. And that's the good part of the news. It is supposed to be one of the possible causes that may have triggered India's deadly second wave because the sudden surge that we saw in India in the past six weeks in the number of cases, while social distancing norms and uh, masking up and all those things could be other contributing factors, but the variants seem to be having a role to play in this. The good news is that vaccines seem to work against this variant. They are creating antibodies and they are able to prevent severe infections, which can trigger hospitalizations and deaths. The not so good part of the news, the bad news is that, that given the size of India's COVID outbreak, the sheer viral load, the number of people who are infected and dying, that is bound to create more mutations. India is like a fertile ground for viruses to mutate in the normal course anyway, given how packed the populations are. But especially a virus that's as transmissible as this may have second and third generation variants. And that is something the scientists are more worried about. One thing that the government has picked up on is genome sequencing. And the one thing we need to do more is a mass surveillance. Mass surveillance of genome sequencing just keep mapping out the virus from positive COVID samples across the country. And that's the only way you can map the next set of mutants. Where are they coming up? Which part of the country? What is the exact nature of mutation? Now, not all mutations are harmful. Some are just harmless, but some of them make them more deadly, more transmissible, and those are the ones that need to be mapped and filtered out. The data needs to be shared globally among scientists, and that's the only way that we can essentially stay up to date with the virus and not play catch up.